The greatest of sins sometimes start with the smallest of steps. It is narrated that at the time of Bani Israel, there was a man that was known to be a very righteous worshiper. He would sit in his cave all the time, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and invoking him. His days he would be fasting and his nights he would be praying. This man was the pinnacle of what it meant to be righteous. At the same time, there were two brothers and a sister. The two brothers had to travel away for some time and were looking for someone to keep their sister with. Mind you, the sister was a young woman. They didn't feel that they can trust their sister with anyone other than Abid bani Israel. And so one day, they come into the cave of Abid bani Israel and they say to him, we want to entrust you with our sister as we go away. Abid bani Israel refuses. He says, no, I'm in my cave alone, I'm busy and I don't want any distractions. And so the two brothers walk away. At that point in time, Satan comes to Abid bani Israel and begins to whisper. He says, are you going to turn away to these two young men? They are asking you to do good. Take in their sister. If you don't want to be alone with her in the cave, have them build in the corner of a cave a little room for their sister. And so Abid bani Israel thinks about it for a while and he says, no problem. He calls back the two brothers and the two brothers come into the cave and he says, I will take care of your sister for you. Just build her a little room in the corner there. And so the brothers build a room in the corner of the cave for their sister. The sister goes and sits in that cave and the two brothers leave. As Abid bani Israel is worshiping, he takes some food and brings it to the young woman. He leaves it at the door and walks away. He does this for some days until one day another whisper comes and says, this girl has been sitting there for a while. She doesn't come out much. Why don't you open the door and talk to her for a little bit? And so Abid bani Israel takes the food. He puts it beside the door. He opens the door, slips the food a little bit, talks to her for a while and leaves. Some days pass and he keeps doing this. One day, another whisper comes. Why don't you open the door a little bit more and talk to her? And so he does the same, does this for some days as well. Another whisper comes. Why don't you go and sit inside the, the room with her? He does this for some time and another whisper comes. The people are watching you sit inside the room with this girl, they might think that something is happening, some haram is happening. Why don't you close the door behind you? Abid bani Israel does this as well. It is said that Abid bani Israel commits the worst of acts. He commits adultery. When he commits adultery, my brothers and sisters, he finds out that the woman was pregnant. And instead of leaving the woman, he kills the woman and he buries her in a grave beside his cave. And some say he buries her in the cave itself. When the two brothers come back, Abid bani Israel lies and he says she died of a sickness. The two brothers go away. The narration states that both brothers see the same exact dream. A man coming to them saying, your sister is buried in the cave and Abid bani Israel killed your sister. They go, they dig in the cave or around the cave and they find the body of their sister. They take Abid bani Israel where? To the courthouse. The court comes forward and says, you have killed a human being and so therefore you must be killed as well. Abid bani Israel is about to be killed. Another whisper comes to his mind. The shaitan tells Abid bani Israel, say the words of disbelief and I will take you out of this predicament. Abid bani Israel, utters the words of disbelief and he is killed on the spot. The man that used to worship and used to fast now just died a disbeliever. He did not commit adultery from the first day. It was those little small steps that got him to where he was. It was those decisions that did not lead to the sin in the beginning that led him to where he ended up. He was the greatest of believers and now he's going to hell.